Hello, my name is Robert Brill. I'm a fibromyalgia advocate and doctoral candidate in health psychology, and this is my fibromyalgia podcast series. Today I'd like to discuss just what is fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a highly misunderstood illness with an estimated 15 million sufferers in the U.S. and likely another 20 million sufferers outside the U.S. Fibro is classified as a syndrome versus a disease because it's a collection of signs and symptoms that are not really related but do occur together. Individuals with some rheumatic diseases like lupus or rheumatism are suggested to be more likely to develop fibro at some point in addition to their rheumatic disease. Receiving a diagnosis and further coping with fibro's devastating effects can be a life-changing experience. Learning to beat the disease requires acceptance, education, support, treatment, and hope, among other things. Accurate information about fibro can be hard to find and sort through and determine what steps you need to take. My blog, fibrobulletin.wordpress.com, and my podcast series aim to teach you how to learn to live with this disabling illness. My goal is survival, and the absolute sacrifice is giving up and giving in to the disease, letting go of hope, surrendering to your symptoms, and giving up on everything positive in your life that you need to keep you head one step ahead of the disease. Successfully living with the disease day in and day out is a testament to your strength. The rest of the world does not yet understand what it means to have this disease, and most often neither do a large percentage of the medical staff that you may encounter. The key to surviving fibro is a complex process that involves two primary efforts on the patient's part. The first is to never stop looking for answers and help, and the second is to never stop hoping for all the things that you desire that will get you to a place that you can effectively cope with the illness. This of course is different for everyone. What's important to remember is it's not how you get there that counts and that you keep trying different things and never stop trying to improve your health that will truly benefit you in your pursuit for wellness. Chronic illness does not have to translate into a poor quality of life if you don't let it. The information about fibro that exists today is not common knowledge. It's not openly shared by those in the medical field and it's not widely accepted across the board either, despite what some experts suggest. Quality information about fibro is buried among the many layers of disbelief, distrust, and bureaucracy. Many clinicians who accept fibromyalgia as a legitimate disease typically don't know how to accurately diagnose it in a timely manner, cannot effectively treat it, and may further perpetuate their patient's illness and myriad of symptoms due to their lack of knowledge about the illness. Finding the right clinician is critical. Currently, there are many organizations, universities, and clinicians working on treatments for fibro. This is an illness of pandemic proportions. The wheels are turning slow, but they are turning. Until recently, research funding has not been allocated towards fibro by comparison to many other diseases of proportion, possibly due to the confusing and non-terminal nature of the illness, despite the fact that fibro affects more individuals than many diseases combined and is growing in epic proportions. But all that is changing. When you consider the cost fibromyalgia has on society and medical expenses and lost wages alone, the numbers are staggering. The more that is publicly known about this illness, the lower the overall impact will be worldwide. Individuals will get diagnosed sooner, treated more efficiently, less time will be spent away from work, and less money will be spent on fibro overall. The goal is to spread the word about the validity and severity of this disease and to help foster the appropriate medical environment for the patients to receive effective care. Often it can take many years to get a diagnosis, and another several years until any degree of symptom relief is experienced once treatment does begin. The facts are avoidable, with the right flow of information to help you navigate your way through the rigorous, seemingly impossible journey to wellness. I try to provide some compassionate but realistic information to understand the impact of the disease. An overview of practical advice of what to look for and how to get where you need to get that help, the help that is available today and not just get bumped around from doctor to doctor, wasting precious time while your disease becomes more disabling. This is a true insider's view of fibromyalgia from a long, lifetime patient examining the trial and error treatments and fundamental successes and failures of the disease. I examine the reality of living with one of the most misunderstood and devastating chronic illnesses today, which has lacking support and treatment from the medical community. This is a disease with very little in the realm of truly effective treatment. 
and has been disregarded by medical professionals for centuries, which adds to the already tarnished name of the disease. My videos take you through the trials and tribulations of fibro, from the beginning of dealing with the complicated disabling force to the many steps of acceptance, coping, loss, and learning to deal with physicians, the psychology of chronic illness, and finding hope where there is none. Together we can examine some of the controversy surrounding fibro, like misdiagnosis, hormones, sleep, fatigue, nutrition, fitness, medications, the social security process, symptoms, lab testing, treatment modalities, staying positive, emotional support, depression, and more. I've comprised valuable information to help those with fibro help themselves, to help those who cannot find hope buried within this tragic chronic illness, and to help those who want to educate themselves to stay one step ahead of fibro. This illness can have disabling results, and the key to wellness is educating yourself and advocating for yourself where others will not. Someday everyone will appreciate the impact of this illness and the importance of its severity. Everything that matters today about this disease is covered in detail on my blog and offers the reader a well-rounded understanding of the disease from diagnosis to effective coping and everything in between. What were once thought to be invalid diseases by the world eventually became validated with time and research and so will fibromyalgia. Sadly though, for millions of people, time is not on their side and help is desperately needed now. Science is narrowing the gap with fibromyalgia between ability and disability. And scientists are eliminating invalid theories every day. And we definitely know a lot about what fibromyalgia is not. Unfortunately, all the medical field offers many people with fibro today are hollow theories and trial and error therapies. Fibromyalgia is an illness that is grossly misunderstood in every possible category and in greater number than most people in the world realize. So learn for yourself everything you can about fibro and discover for yourself your road to wellness. Thank you.